If you saw last episode, things didn't really go to plan. Just let me back up, guys. I'm gonna die. Oh my goodness. And I'm now stranded thousands of blocks from spawn with no items. Hopefully I can safely get back in one piece and avoid anybody attacking me. Also guys, there's still friend or foe posters available on sale. The link's in the description. They look awesome, signed by all of us. And today should be a very interesting episode. So yes, welcome back to friend or foe. We should probably stick together. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm actually gonna kill you in this episode. Yeah? Yeah, that's that's all I want. I'll be honest, guys, I am actually really, really tempted to kill Minnie. Like, I mean, I know he's on only three lives, but I just feel like after last episode, I should I should get, you know, get myself back into the game a little bit. A little taste of blood, you know, make it, make it interesting. Spice things up, but at the same time, it is very mean, and I, I do kind of need his help if we're gonna take down clowns. What do you reckon? A truce? Do I, do, I, do, I, do I go and propose a truce to him and, and think, you know what? This isn't the biggest problem. We both we both need gear. We both need to get back. And fighting each other would probably lead to a bit of a disaster. Also, this poor villager is, is somehow trapped in the trap doors. There you go, mate. <laughs> get to bed. There's, uh, there's mobs everywhere. See, look, little fellas like these. It's actually quite dangerous out here with no armor. I, I have got to be careful. I mean, we're in hard mode and I have no food. So maybe... Caving is the answer. But yeah, first food is a necessity. Berries are not a very good food at all. But at this point, I don't think I have much jar. Okay, you know what? Maybe I maybe I should have. I don't know about this now, guys. I am very vulnerable. Mini definitely has better gear than me. I mean, I'm kind of confident I could probably do it. But yeah, I, I don't really want to stick around to risk it. Especially considering I'm in a very, very bad way for food. If you're wondering how far away we are, I'm actually about 7,000 blocks from spawn. If I could access my ender chest, I'd be able to get all of my good gear, but unfortunately, that's not really an option. And Quiff is messaging me to ask if we're going to be back. You know, I think he wants revenge. He's, he's very, very brave if he does, because I, I am not that confident with the stuff I've got. Maybe that's the answer. Maybe I should rush home a little bit faster and take Clown on. Now, I've managed to make a little bit of gear, which is good. I've told Quiff that I've been gathering resources because I have nothing. I think I've just got to get back as, as fast as possible. Server Assassin... Join the game. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. You kidding me? No. No. Not like this. Wait. The server assassin. He's already gone for clown. Surely he's gonna go for me. I have seven lives and I have no gear. Are you kidding me? I did not plan for this. Oh no. I've messaged Clown Pierce. See if he wants to make a truce. Now the server assassin is here. I don't know. I think Clown Pierce wants to take him down. Clown has said okay. If all four of us fight the server assassin, we might be able to do it. We might be able to get him. I mean, I've even got, I've got iron armor and sweet berries. I've told Clown my exact location. Is that a risk? I don't know. What do we got up here? We've got a village, a blacksmith. Please be something good in the blacksmith. I've found some diamonds. I mean, I've got more armor, which I've already got. So that's kind of useless. Oh, I've got an iron pick. Isn't that great? Bread. I need bread. That'll, that'll at least be something, won't it? The only positive here is if I do die, at worst, I'm going to be losing a life. And that's it. Like, I've, I've not got any of my good gear on me. There's nothing too worrying. And let's be real. It's going to take the assassin a long time to get to me. So maybe, maybe, just maybe I can come up with some sort of plan. First things first, gather up some more iron. I've got to keep my wits about me. Check all angles. There is more hay bales there. And I got five iron. That is the perfect amount because I can make shears and a bucket. That's going to be huge for the MLG. And the leaves are going to allow me to at least get some high ground on him. My chances of survival are slim. We know that. And I'm now going to try and find a place where there isn't really any water. Water. I managed to use fall damage in the past to kill clown peers, and I know my chances are slim of me doing that again, but I have to try. I think this area is as good as it's gonna get. I also need to grab some cobble because my axe is about to break. I'll mine a bit more wood and then and then we do it. We could, we could take out that enderman. An ender pearl could be clutch at some point. My axe is broken at a pretty crucial time. Now I'm gonna deal with these guys, and no doubt my time is ticking. Come on, SB. We've got a pearl, okay. Who knows what situation that could get me out of. And now I must build up. I think I'm going to build up and break it as I go. That could be a great idea. Make a diamond sword and a brand new axe. Then I'll mine the blocks below me, place three more, and just keep on going like that. It's a slow way to get up, but hopefully it means that the server assassin will take a little bit longer to find me. Talk about pressure. This is a guy in full netherite prop 4 armor. I have absolutely nothing. He has so many enderpearls. He has... 
just so much of everything. But if I can at the very least distract him, who knows what will happen. Constantly worried that I'm going to accidentally break the leaf that I'm standing on and just fall to my death. If it happens, it'll be sad. But as long as I, uh, I'm i careful and use my brain, I should be okay. And I've made it. I've made it to the build limit. There's, there's not really much else that I can now do. I've let everyone on the server know what I'm doing. I don't know if Quiff's coming to me. I think Clown Pierce is going to come over. I'm pretty sure the assassin will be somewhere around here. But this has to be the safest option. I wish I had some glass. That would really, really help because then it would be harder to see this. But the issue is I'll have no idea if he comes over here because I don't think I can see him from that far away. Hang on a minute. I think he might be near. I think the tab list when he's far away does not look like it does right now. I've asked Minnie to send me a screenshot of what his tab face looks like. If it's different, I'll know that he's near me. But I'm pretty sure it's changed from what I last saw. If that's the case... He is, he is very, very close. Quiff says he sees me. Okay, Quiff is nearby, that's good. It's different. That means the assassin is close. I see someone below me in iron armor. Who is that? I've warned Quiff that it seems like he's near. And Quiff has told me that he's after me. I, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get out of this, guys. He's there. Now, I don't think he has a lot of blocks. He's looking up at me, though. He obviously knows that I'm here. I didn't think Clown would be the man to save me, but I'm telling him to be quick, okay? I've definitely stalled him. He's definitely at the bottom stuck, but he knows exactly where I am. Now then, you see, it doesn't always take skill to defeat the server assassin. Sometimes it takes brains. I don't actually know where he's going. You can see he's just running further and further away. He's gone out of my render distance now. I think maybe he's going to get leaves. But if he thought it was just going to be a normal PvP battle, he's obviously never played Minecraft with SB737. I don't like this one bit. It's, it's really dark and misty because of the rain. I mean, he's built up. Is that him there? He's coming. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. He's building a slow and steady staircase all the way up to me. He's using water as well. Maybe I can distract him with this. And then if I pearl away, maybe, maybe, just maybe, I can get away. All righty. I, I don't know if he's going to know what I've done, but it probably will not take him long to work out. I'm going to go from the top of this mountain and... Oh, no, he's here. The server assassin is here. Now, surely he knows I've got nothing. All right, this is, uh, yeah, I mean, I was never going to survive that, ladies and gentlemen. I had no gear. He came at the worst time. I mean, what was I supposed to do? Maybe jumping off was a mistake. I thought maybe I could build up, but he was quick to see where I'd gone and, and get to me. So that's me down and out from the server side. I swear, if I respawn and I didn't break that bed. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. No way. Should have broken the bed, SB. Should have broken the bed. Now, this doesn't mean that Clown Pierce can't defeat him. Clown Pierce knows roughly where he is. And that now takes the target off my head. I, I can actually assist, but I can't really be killed unless I come back into PvP. And maybe that can just give us the help we need. I mean, we've got to get rid of this server assassin. It's crazy that Clown Pierce is wanting to go after him. I would not have that confidence. I would have loved to face him on my terms where I actually had the stuff that I wanted, not at the most inconvenient time possible. But now it'll be Quiff. Quiff will be the one that the assassin is after. I know it may not look like it, but it's actually quite dangerous getting back. Like, there's mobs everywhere. I've got no armor. I'm, I've got an arrow in the face. I'm just living off berries. And is this, is this where I was with the assassin? I mean, he's not going to kill me again, is he? But then again, he might not care about the rules. Maybe he'll just he'll just go for whatever and, and, and not care about killing someone multiple times. He might not even know the rules. Mini needs to saddle him fast. Um, I will have to have a look. I've told him I maybe have one in my house. I just need to work on getting back up. I mean, is Quiff going to be around here? Mini Mooka was slain by the server assassin. Quiff just missed it. He left at the crucial time. That means it's just Quiff that remains. If he comes after Quiff, the server assassin will have killed each and every one of us. It really is a long walk back, isn't it? I'm like 5,000 blocks away. It's a thunderstorm. It's, why has it got to be this kind of weather where it's, there's just all sorts of mobs here? I've told Quiff that he needs to get to Clown. If he wants to survive, he needs to get to Clown. But if Quiff was in iron armor before, then I really do think that he doesn't stand a chance. I'm also kind of close to death here and there's uh, mobs everywhere again. I just need wood to make a boat. If I can just be left alone long enough for that, it'll be great. Another death... Would not be ideal. You know, I've got to try and hold on to these lives a little bit. I mean, it would get me home quicker, but it's not worth a life to get home. So staying staying alive is, is definitely important. Oh, the weather's brightening up. Oh, this is much better. Not so dangerous now. And yeah, I think in a way it's a blessing in disguise that the server assassin came when I had no gear because I've not battled him and died and lost everything. All it's cost me is a life. Absolutely no gear wasted. It's just the last episode where I lost all the gear because of Clown Fierce. But I'd say that it's not the end of the world. In other news, 
Mini Mooka is on two lives. He is very, very close to elimination from this series. But if Quiff also loses a life, he's going to be in the same boat. It's, uh, you honestly just can't call it, can we? Anything good in this chest? Okay, apparently it's already been looted. And there goes the last of my berries. Not ideal, because I'm still 3,000 blocks away. Yeah, quite the journey. A journey which looks like it has an ocean in between. That's actually going to be very, very useful. Assuming it properly is one. If it is, then yeah, I'll be able to, I'll be able to get back quite quickly. Melons. I, this could actually be very useful. I knew there'd be a food source somewhere. And melons are the answer. I, I could be good chicken, but you know what? I'm, I'm vegan at the moment. Berries and melons. That's where it's at. Now, I know Clampius really does want to kill the server assassin. Because it'll mean that he gains an extra life. I did have a plan to get... Oh, hang on a minute. This could be all be useful. Yeah, I did have plans to use a trap to get him. But yeah, I never really had time to, to execute that. Let's break this and continue back. Now we're just 2,000 blocks to go. And I'm going to start taking out mobs on the way as well. Might as well get some usage out of this sword. Quiff is also no longer online, which means he has, he has survived. Okay, he survived this. He was on for an hour. The assassin went for me, then he went for Minnie. Which means I can only assume that the assassin is now going to go to Clown. What? Return to sender. He's in the nether. Okay. Clown piece is coming to spawn. Now, this is even better news. I'm almost back. There might be ender chest stuff around here. At the very least, my iron farm might have something in it. Such as iron, I would guess. Well, 27 iron. That's better than nothing. And I'm going to help out Clown. I think he needs a netherite chest plate. That's what he's asking. So I'm going to help him out. I would kind of like him to die because he'll lose a life. But at the same time... We need to get rid of this server assassin. We can't have him joining and ruining the plans like this. I may even fight by Clown Pierce's side. Because if I could be the one to kill the server assassin, I'll get an extra life as well. So it's not over. I mean, yes, I could die as well. But with Clown by my side, oh, I've got a great chance. So at this point, I'd say anything can happen. Anything can happen. Now, Clown Pierce's house is actually probably going to be very useful because there will be an ender chest there. So I'll tell you what, I cannot wait for this. We can, we can throw away all this rubbish junk. I'm sure Clown won't mind me just using a, a few of his things. And don't tell me he doesn't have an ender chest down here. Why would he not have an ender chest? I did also put a trap on the other side of his portal. I'm kind of curious to know if it's still there. I'll probably die if I go through if it is, though. Maybe not the smartest idea. Has Clown got anything of use here? I, it doesn't look like it. So instead, I'll I'll try and get back to my house. <laughs> it would just be easy. Ender chests literally make the world go around, don't they? Surely Quiff does. Yes, he does. He's got a dog as well, hasn't he? How do I even get into Quiff's house? That's a good question. Down here we go. He's definitely got a nicer base than me. Oh, he's got the friend or foe poster on his wall as well. Very nice. And I'll tell you what else is nice. Oh, I do have it. I think it's the one he needs. This is actually armor that Quiff gave me. I do also have a decent helmet, so we're going to go with that. And I've got an ender chest. Oh, I'm going to keep that. I messaged Clown. He didn't respond. I can only guess that he's in a battle. If he is in a battle, I need to go and, I, I need to go and get involved. And then there's at least a small possibility that I could help him. All right, never mind. I can't track anyone for 23 hours. That's what happens when you die. So I can't track anyone unless I come back to PvP. That would be the only way. Just grabbing every single bit of armor that I have as well. So going to this shulker box, because that's just going to be useful when I upgrade all my gear again. And I don't think there's much more that I can do. Instead, I'll have to leave it in Clown Pierce's hands to try and defeat the assassin. I, I guess I'm not going to get involved. I'm going to leave him to it. But if I'm quick, I can do one thing. I can jump into bed. Okay, they're all in the overworld. That's what I do know. And I am going to head to the end and use the Enderman XP farm. Okay, Fire Aspect is not something that I'm supposed to have here, am I? And use the Enderman XP farm so that whilst they're battling it out, I can be getting much better gear. I've been sat here for ages collecting XP. As far as I know, those guys are still going at each other, which really is crazy. Kind of highlights how difficult it is to defeat Clown if they've been going for like nearly an hour. And I'm not going to stay online and wait any longer. So you have to watch Clown's video to see what happens. But yeah, back to six lives. Hopefully Clown's on seven. That'll, uh, that'll make my life easier. But yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.